way behind. I'll be right than you are. <laughs> so, Rachel, turn it off and turn it on. Make like an alligator, Ann. And haul my tail to breakfast. Got it. Hey, what are we doing tonight? Well, Richard's coming by. We're gonna go out to dinner. Fun. We have a date. Do we like Richard? Yeah. We like Richard. Keep her working. She can use it. Well, thank you, dear. Another hard day at the office? Well, the usual. Got a new client this morning, and budget meetings all afternoon, and then new product seminar later. Gonna be late? Well, my guess is 10 or 11. Why don't you grab some of your girlfriends, take them out for dinner? Last one home, turn out the lights. Yeah, how come you're working out this morning? I thought today was your tennis day. It is. I'm going to the club from here. A lot of exercise. I hear I can use it. Morning. Well, you've missed quite a morning. Is Julie in? <laughs> Am I going to hate this story? Oh, big time. Julie will be right back. He can. Foster and Brooks. Get out. Mr. Sensitive Flat laid him off. No explanations, no severance, and he didn't even have the courtesy to tell them separately. Oh. You be careful. Jonathan Holtman, the management style of the tell of the hun. My God, that's terrible. Here's Maybe. coffee. You'll need it. So I hear. Why should I worry? Because you're the only one around here that can replace him. And he knows it. Mm. Great. Do what you do so you can be a threat to your boss. Thanks for washing my back. It's okay. What's up? Mr. Holtman's called twice. He wants the Racine proposal. I'll call him. It's ready. Clients will be here at 9.30. Presentation starts at 9.45. Conference call at 11 with Singer McMahon and Ardina. Here's the desk. I have it copied, all right? Mr. Holtman just called again. They're waiting. Coming. This is a great presentation. It's better than anything Holtman ever did himself. And he knows it. Marianne, it's Zoe's school. Line two. Thanks, Julie. Hello? Is she all right? Oh, thank God. Uh, no, no, I'll call. I'll, I'll come get her. Well, good morning, Marianne. How nice to see you today. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks for calling. You thinking about dropping by the presentation? I'm really sorry, Mr. Hoffman. Here's the material. You're going to have to give it. I'm going to have to give it? Uh, yes, sir. It's all there. I worked until very late on it last night. They're going to love it. I promise. 
This is not my job. No. My daughter fell off the jungle gym at school. And, and tell me again. Your job is what? She's hurt, Mr. Holtman. There's the presentation. It's done. It's good. Now I'm going to go, okay? No, it's not okay. You find someone else to get her. She's got a father around somewhere, doesn't she? Where her father is is none of your business. I'm her mother, and she needs me. And how much do you need this job? Don't you dare threaten me. I do my job. More than my job. And I do it well. Part-time. Being a part-time professional is better than being a full-time... <clears throat> Holtman, I'm going to get my child. What the hell are you looking at? It's a beautiful day today with the highs in the mid 70s. Lows tonight near 55. Those of you on the coast, visibility is 20 miles. Tomorrow's going to just been informed that the contractor never obtained them. The <laughs> wall gave way. This accident seems to have brought a breakdown in communication. your daughter. If you don't mind, I really appreciate this. Uh, uh, Jennifer. Jennifer. Marianne. Thank you. I'm having the complete day from hell. <laughs> Join the club. Really? Uh, 
I never go home on Fridays. Oh, I feel like I don't get home any day. But I went home today just in time to see my husband with his new client. New client? My husband's in the uh, chemical business. Only today's chemistry had nothing to do with business. Oh, I really hate this story. Yeah. Oh, so do I. Oh, I'm really sorry for my little girl. Oh, of course. <laughs> you know, your little girl is very lucky to have a mother like you. <laughs> Let's go. She just knocked the wind out of herself. That was quite a fall, young lady. Now, move your shoulder. Does feel okay? I must have scared you, honey. Are you sure you're all right? It still hurts, uh. but it's okay. Mom, I'm really pretty tough. Hmm. But she's fearless. We know that. The kids said she was on top of the jungle gym. On top? Uh -huh. <laughs> Should I take her to the doctor? Oh, that's not necessary. By this time, we'd know if there were any problems, swelling and so on. She's fine. Mom, I told you I'm really pretty tough. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have even called you. Oh, I guess I know when I'm not needed. But I'm glad you came. <laughs> then it's back to class. School's been really fun today. Yeah? We're studying water animals. Mm. Who's that? That's Jennifer. <sighs> she really helped me out this morning. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. Thanks for saving my mom. <sighs> You're welcome. Do we have to get a new car? No, honey, they'll just fix it. Maybe we should get a new one anyway. Oh, right. And pay for it with our good looks. And smiles. Well, if smiles were money, you could have any car you wanted. Thanks. That's a pretty dolphin pin. I love dolphins. Really? Well, you know what? I think this dolphin has just found a new home. Wow, thanks. Oh, really, Jennifer? Oh, it's a pleasure. It's only cost you. <laughs> thanks. You're welcome. Let's see here. No lumps, no bumps. Now, I don't want you climbing on top of anything anymore, okay? Okay. All right. I'm going. Uh, bye, Jennifer. It was nice meeting you. You too, bye. Aren't you forgetting something? It's more like it. Mm. Bye, Mom. Love you. Love you too. Bye, Mom. She's adorable. Yeah, she is. Oh, what a morning. <laughs> We have really been through it today, haven't we? So why don't we just take a moment and be good to ourselves? Oh, time. Oh, I've really got to get back. Even galley slaves take time for lunch. He actually said, doesn't she have a father somewhere? In front of the whole office. Oh, sounds like a fine human being. There was no question in my mind where I needed to be, but he made me feel as though I don't care what happens with the company. Men and their work. It's their whole world. They just don't get it when something is important to us. Now, the worst of it is he uses his power so badly. I worked very hard to get that job. You can't just let him take it away from me. <laughs> you need the job. I mean, if your boss were to suddenly evaporate, would you miss him? <laughs> no. <laughs> not for a minute, but he won't. It's not his style, and it doesn't sound like a Jack's style either. Oh, no. Not big, bad Jack. Yeah, well, aside from coping, there are not many options. No, not many, but there are things we can do. Do you know what I did when I saw them out back? I set the house on fire. Jennifer, Ooh, you're something that's pretty bold. Well, being bold is something that you can do for yourself. Ugh, these earrings are murder. And that's another. Murder. I wish I could tell you it hadn't entered my mind. Mine too, many times. I mean, I never think of the act itself, but I do imagine a world where Jonathan Holtman is gone. Can he take Jack with him? <laughs> you know, Jack and I were very much in love once. Oh, when you were young and poor? Jack was never poor. He's a brilliant businessman. But he was dashing. Clever. And he had his own plane. <laughs> I met him in Houston. And he took me away from it all.
And it all included a mother who drank and a father who didn't give a damn. Oh, I know it's not an original story, but it's my story, and, uh... Ooh, Jack sure made me pay for it. With his other women? No, kids. He made me promise that I wouldn't have any kids. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I... So is the one really great thing I have. You see... Jack loves things, not people. And why not divorce him? Oh, it's been too long and prenup. Some bimbo moves into my house, my life, I get nothing. I'm not going to give it all up that easy. I, you know, I just wish I could help you in the same way you've helped me today. Marianne, listen to me. What if you had a chance to get rid of Holtman and live happily ever after? Would you take it? <laughs> sure, I guess. And if I could get rid of Jack ooh, in a New York minute. Yeah, dreams at dusk. Maybe not. Maybe we met today for a reason. I'm not in your life and you're not in mine. And there's no way anyone could connect me with your boss or you with Jack. Yeah, true, so? So, I'll get rid of Holtman for you. <laughs> right, and I'll get rid of Jack for you. Bullseye, we win! <laughs> We get the results we want, and you're not responsible for the act. No harm, no foul, home free. Come on, Marianne, be bold. It's your only option. Life without Jonathan. Oh, what a deal. Yeah, what a deal. What a day. It was great to meet you. You too. Thanks for the rescue and for lunch. I had a lot of fun. Me too. And Marianne, I see a great promotion in your future. <laughs> I wish. Thanks again, Jennifer. You're welcome. Bye-bye. So... How bad was it? Not bad. Good. They loved the presentation. Lynn said they bought it in the room. Really? Really. John sold the hell out of it. And then took credit for it. Perfect. He did apologize for your absence. Said you had daycare problems. You know, women stuff. Huh. Was Palmer there? Put his arm around Holtman as they walked out. Oh, man. Uh, oh, uh, my purse. <sighs> Must have... Uh, you left it in the car. She called from her car phone. Said she'd drop it by later. She's late to something now. Well, at least something went right today. It's got to get better. Don't forget your four o'clock. <sighs> Damn that old man. Excuse me, can I help you? Yes, uh, Marianne Bellman. Well, that's her office, but she's in a meeting right now. Thank you. not about the chicken. It was my presentation. You did all the work. Oh, and he took the credit. Tell Palmer. You can't. It's too big a risk. I know you got to be careful, but Palmer really should know. You can't let Holtman have that kind of power over you. He does, though. Uh, you got to know this guy to understand. 
How long till you get your car back? A couple of days, under the week. I'm afraid to ask. Mm. Fifteen hundred dollars. And my insurance rate's gonna take a hike. Oh, man, it costs to live these days. Marianne, you're doing great. Your kid's fine, you get a good check from a good job, it was a bad day, just let it go. Mm. Just let me take care of you tonight. Hmm? Sounds like a good idea. Wanna beat up my boss? Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> Jack, it hurt me very much that you brought that girl into our house. But I've thought a lot about us lately and realized that maybe I'm not enough to keep you interested anymore. Maybe that's the problem. Do you still think I'm sexy? What the hell is this about? It's about our marriage. It's about us. You're my husband, and I still love you very much. Is this a shrink thing? When I saw you out there with her, I wanted it to be me. I don't want to lose you. Do you still think I'm sexy? Are you serious? I like this. I do too. What time are you? So we can continue this after the party. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? There's a cigarette hole burned in this shirt. Really? They say smoking's bad for you. How's that drink? It's, uh, it's right here. Thank you. There you go. You? One for you. Thank you. Cynthia asked me all about the fire, and I told her about it. Is that right? Uh, well, uh, not everything. So, darling, why don't you tell her the best part? Well, what is the best part? How I came home and surprised you. Yeah, well, it certainly was a surprise. The thing is, he was really trying to surprise me. Look, I, I don't think we ought to talk about this now. Really. No, I never come home early from playing tennis. And he was so shocked that I did that he dropped his cigarette into the flowers and poof! <laughs> <laughs> Almost burnt up the tickets. The tickets? Tickets. The tickets. He was hiding the tickets in the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he's taking me to Hong Kong for my birthday. Right, darling? <laughs> so, you see, the real surprise was on me. Nothing like a surprise. Oh, that's so sweet. Now, that's the kind of thing that really keeps a marriage fresh, don't you think? No question about it. To surprise us, darling. To you, dear. One surprise after another. <laughs> I'll say. Close. Close, but no cigar. You asked for a two-page rundown. That's six pages. Yeah, well, it still needs to be more complete. Mr. Holtman, you gave me that assignment yesterday. What time? It's great. Take the weekend, but make it live. Like the presentation yesterday. Palmer loved it, I'm sure you heard. Here, thanks. Something wrong? Nothing. 
I'm listening. Talk to me, Marianne. I can be your friend. You made me look good yesterday, and I want to help. Look, I know this single woman mother thing can be tough. What's that supposed to mean? Just some people can't do it all. I'm gonna kill him. He's patronizing, he's condescending, he's obsequious. Oh, who could that be? Let me guess. I'm gonna... yeah. He's using me. Well, of course he is. The question is, what are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm not gonna quit. That's for damn sure. And as long as you make him look good... Okay, that's another thing. He keeps saying he wants me to make him look good. So that's the reason why I was brown on God's green earth. Oh, I wish I didn't need this job. Can I get you something to calm you down? No. What you're going to do is take a deep breath, relax, and let it go. No, if he could just... Do it. Breathe. Feel better? No. my fault. I just I had my mind. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, it was all my fault. Oh, all well, right. You're... Well, look, uh, we could stand here all day and argue about who's right. But what if we go in and have a drink and we'll argue about who pays? Actually, I really have to pay billed a little less than a million dollars before I got there. Today, it's three plus. Well, why do I get the feeling that you made the difference? Campaigns are the difference. And who's in charge of those campaigns? I have some very good people. But it's knowing how to use them. I bet you'd be great to work for. I don't know. I can be pretty demanding. You know, you're wearing one of our best products right now. I am. How can you tell? The smell. And touch. Silk and smooth. When we got the account, it was just a hand lotion. Not today. It's a way of life. Life lotion. lotion. I love it. You thought that up. Somebody had to. Do you know how many women would like to thank you for thinking that up? Perhaps. You could thank me for all of them. <laughs> I want to do something special for you. <laughs> I think you already have. No, I mean something extra special. Over on your tummy. You're gonna love this. Never move here, man. Don't work here. Yeah. Does that feel good? Is that a wedding ring I see on your hand? Yeah. But we've got our problems. I understand. When can I see you again? 
Thursdays are good. It's been working out very well. There's definite potential. Oh, I was happy to do it. I was in the neighborhood. Now, I didn't remember where I left and thank you for dropping it off so soon. <laughs> well, I was just sorry that you weren't there. Um, hey, do you want to have dinner one night? Oh, that'd be great. When? Um, how's Thursday? Thursday's perfect. I'll get a sitter for Zoe. Oh, how is she? Fine, thanks. Well, say hi for me. Um, from the friend who gave her the dolphin pin. Oh, <laughs> she'll remember you. Don't worry. Uh, so let's say, um... Eight o'clock. Uh, do you know the Pan Pacific? Sure do. I'll see you there. Bye, Jennifer. Good night, Marianne. Marianne, sit down. You know, the Rissian report went very well. Uh, I heard. Jonathan here was right on his stuff that day. After he made sure that I knew the presentation was yours. Really? I just wanted to let you know that we're considering moving Jonathan up. And when we do, his job is yours. I don't... Uh, oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. After this cutback, a lot of people around here have felt insecure about their job. You shouldn't be one of them. Thank you. Mr. Holtman, thank you. There's no need for that. Look, I am no walk in the park. I put a lot of pressure on my people. They either come through or they don't. You came through? Marianne. You do good work. Glass of Chardonnay, please. Certainly. Why oh, so special? I'm sorry I'm late. Okay. I just had quite a workout. Well, it looks good on you. Anyway, I had time for a much-needed glass of wine. Well, I could use a drink myself. Um, I'll have, uh, let's see, a Bloody Mary. It's good to see you. You 
to, especially in a restaurant, not in an intersection. <laughs> really not. You are kidding. No one else would appreciate that story. It certainly got a big laugh at the bar, <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> You've got some nerve, <laughs> I guess. Here. No? So well. She's my cookie hound. Oh, she is so sweet. So she likes that boyfriend of yours? She likes what I like. You really are a pair. Mothers and daughters. Oh, uh, anyway, good things at work today. You still want that promotion? It's funny you should mention that. At this morning's meeting, I had a big surprise. Well, it's not the only one you're going to get. I have a surprise for you, too. What do you mean? And uh, dinner's on me. Uh, Jennifer. by your letter opener. The one with your initials? With your fingerprints? Don't bother looking for it. I have it. And Marianne, oh. a deal is a deal. Oh! 
Hi. Hey, darling. Oh, uh, Zoe's fine. She uh, fell right asleep. How was dinner? Oh, good. I have a headache. Oh, we went down to Chinatown. Must have been a little bit too much MSG. Can I get you something? Rub your back. Oh, no, that's okay. I'll just take a bath and see if I feel better. Sure. Good. Sorry. Just feeling rotten. <laughs> oh, it's no problem. I'm really into this film. It's a, uh, a murder mystery. Richard. in a hotel, the Pan Pacific. Who would do something like that to him? Mr. Palmer said that detectives are coming over to talk to everyone. A maid went in this morning and found him. Mm. Do you believe this? <gasps> Everything I did went to his desk. He was her boss. So, uh... You two worked real closely together, huh? Oh, yes, yes, we did. Um, although I wouldn't say we were very close on a personal basis. Hmm. Any particular reason? No, he just liked to keep the separation. Did you dislike him? Well, quite frankly, I, I didn't care for him much. What, does that matter? Uh, no, there was just some mention of animosity. <laughs> Well, we were very different, personally. Uh, what are you looking for? I don't know. Do you think he was having an affair? I don't know. See, the medical examiner said it, that he'd had sex just before the time of death. So, kind of assuming that the killer was his partner, lover... No, whatever. Where were you last night? I was at home with my daughter and my boyfriend. I had to ask that. Well, I guess that'll probably be about all. We'll be in touch. I'd say that, too. <laughs> Listen, if uh, you think of anything, see anything, just give me a call. Hmm? Uh, I will. Uh, he has to say that, too. Hi. Oh, I didn't mean to scare you. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm seeing you. You know, we're friends, remember? Oh, had dinner last night? We are not friends. Oh, I still think of us as friends. Uh, well, then, maybe we're partners. Partners in murder? Well, not really. And uh, there's no way anyone can connect you to that incident unless somebody would happen to find a murder weapon. And that won't happen if you keep up with your end of the deal. See, that's the beauty of all of this. That's when we met when we did. I want you to stay away from me. Well, I, I don't mean to upset you, and, and it'll take a, a little while for you to get adjusted to all of this. Um, I'll call you.
Uh, uh, no, not really. Um, it's Holtman. Him again. He was murdered. You're kidding. He's dead. This is no joke. Oh, I wish it were. Wow. Um, come on over here. What, uh, what went on? Uh, uh they're not sure. I, we just had to leave the office a little early. Just didn't want to hang around, you know, there are police and questions. I don't blame you. Hey, come here. Listen, I have a, a confession to make and a, and a big favor to ask. My um, business dinner was canceled last night, and so I should have called or I should have come home, but uh, well, with everything that's been going on lately, I, I just wanted a little bit of time to myself, and so I had dinner alone. Okay, so what? You told me you like time by yourself. Yeah, well, this detective was talking to everybody at work and he wanted to know where we were last night and so I said that I was at home with you and so. That's the confession? Yeah. I guess. All right. I'll make a great alibi. terrible about Jonathan. But I don't want the job. Not now. Marianne, if Jonathan had quit, or if he'd have moved up, the job would still be yours. You've earned it. Now, I know he was taking credit for your work. But it's so soon. I mean, it's just been a week. I know. I just feel wrong about it. No need. There's no need. It's not like you had anything to do with it. We need to move on. The agency needs to move on. I need somebody to do Jonathan's job, and that somebody I need is you. It's that simple. this? A gift. For what? For no reason, just for you. <laughs> you know, somehow I don't think I'm going to look very good in this. No, but I will. That's why it's such a special gift. Shall I try it on? What, here? I like the view. We're almost settled. We'll never be settled. I know. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Have a seat. Have you talked to that detective lately? Not lately. Why? What kinds of stuff did he ask you? Oh, just routine. You know, I wanted to know if I knew anything that would help. Well, I feel like I lied to him. Why? What'd you say? It's what I didn't say. I didn't mention that you had a dinner at the Pan Pacific that night. A dinner I didn't go to. Right, which is why I didn't say anything. But then I noticed that you had a new calendar insert and... Oh, so you thought I... I'd thrown it out because I had the dinner written down. Oh, I just, I'd spilled some coffee on it. I soaked the whole thing. I just didn't want to bother you. Mm. Julie, you don't think that I know and... No, no, I'd never think that. It's just I was bothered because I felt like I was lying to that detective. Oh, well, listen, if you'd feel better about calling him, I have no problem with that. Oh, no, it's all right. I just needed to talk to you about it. So much has been happening around here lately, and... I know we're all on edge. Really? 
Thanks. So the hotel manager calls the captain. Says the front office is in his hair. When can they have their room back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Commerce as usual, right? <laughs> so uh, it's going to take two weeks. Got to get a new bed, new carpets. I don't see what the problem is. Room looks okay to me. Call it the murder suite. You check in, somebody else checks you out. <laughs> what a business, huh? Uh, his or ours? Yeah. All right, let's do this now. Holtman checks in alone. Didn't die that way. Remember all the money had been taken out of the wallet? Good, so it's a hooker then, if somebody wants to make it look like a hooker. So what do you, what do you make of this shirt? What is missing? Yeah. I make that to be weird. I've seen a lot of things taken from a Vic, but never a shirt. So, no murder weapon. Who's got a motive? No one. Oh, except that uh, the girl that got his job. Marianne Bellman? Yeah. I mean, uh, they're at each other's throats. So what's he doing in bed with her? Nothing. The girl's squeaky clean. I think. Waiter bumped into somebody. Uh, sketch is completely N.D. I couldn't even tell if she was a blonde brunette or a redhead. Okay. Now we got... Zip. Zilt zero. We got nothing. So why are we here, Joe? Because they're going to paint. Because I never heard of a killer taking a shirt. Because because maybe we missed something. What you got? How do we miss you? Hmm. Looks like the lab guy's getting a little sloppy. Oh, could have been out of the bed for months. Yeah. Or uh, maybe just since the night of the murder, huh? No dust. Oh, well, let me get the word out. We think we're looking for a hooker who's wearing a man's shirt and one clean blue earring. Can we go to lunch now? Yeah, you're right. Where do you want to go? Let's call room service. Oh, I really wish you weren't going. You know, for the first time in a long time, I don't want to go. We'll have lots of time together. It's all ahead of us. Bye-bye. Lots of time. Nothing but time. Clients are here and you've got a call on mine too. Oh, take a message. I'm running late. She's very insistent, said you would want to take her call. You know who this is? Uh, tell Mr. Palmer I'll be right there. Feeling better? I don't want you calling here. After all I've done for you? I don't want you to do anything. We had a deal. We don't have a deal, Jennifer. Well, that's news to me. I wish I had known before I did my part. Well, I guess the joke's on Mr. Holtman. Goodbye, Marianne. By concentrating solely on radio and print, we can deliver the 18 to 24 demographic for 40% less. The breakdowns are in your books. Marianne? Young adults are masters of using this device. Your commercial goes on, and it's off. Zapped. Marianne. Uh, I was just thinking that even my little girl zaps the commercials. 
But so does your target audience. But they do listen to commercials in their cars, and they do respond to print ads in their magazines. So we would like to go bravely where we haven't ventured before. Went well. Julie, what's this? Messenger brought it. He said it was personal. Thanks. talk to you about something else? Sure, go ahead. Well, you know, the other night you said you had dinner at Chinatown, but the cookies were wrapped in a Pan Pacific Hotel napkin. Uh, I had lunch at the Pan Pacific. Well, I'm not really a jealous type. Another man? Well, is there? <laughs> no way, Richard. So what is it? me. It feels good. Okay, sweet. Give me some time, Richard. I'll be back. deal with him? Mom, the phone's ringing. Don't answer that. Hello? I would really feel better if we just had a chat. Say tomorrow night. So how's your new job? It wasn't what I wanted. Really? You killed an innocent man. For you. Does anyone at work even remotely think that you were involved? I wasn't involved. 
No, my question is, does anyone think you were? No. Not any of your friends, not Julie? No. Does Julie know that we had dinner that night at the Pan Pacific? She knows we had plans and that I canceled them. Spent the evening at home with Zoe. Good. Look, I gotta tell you something. I'm not killing anyone. Okay. So it won't bother you when the police find the letter opener with your fingerprints and a murder victim's blood on it? I'll take my chances with the jury. We had a motive. You were in the room. I didn't do it. I didn't do anything. They cannot convict me. Good luck. Marianne? Do you think what I did was easy? Do you think I liked it? You got what you wanted. What about me? Well, now it's my turn. I did my part. I did it because I had to. Now you have to do it. No, I don't. Marianne, I just want to prove that I'm your friend. Don't you call me. Ever. Hi, Marianne. Mom, come and look. It's really me. What are you doing up? It's almost 10. But Mom, come. It's really me. I want to look. I want you to go Mom. to bed right now. It's my fault. We just lost track of time. Stand. Look. What's the... I know to bed. What's the matter with you? She's got school tomorrow. Let's forget about Zoe for a minute. What's the matter with you? What do you mean? I mean, you're way out of line. This is not a big deal. How do you know what's a big deal and what isn't? You know you're right, but I keep asking what the hell's going on. And I keep telling you nothing. And I'm not buying it, Marianne. Why can't you tell me? I'm sorry, Richard. I can't get you involved. Yeah, well, you got me involved when you asked me to lie for oh, you. Oh, please, Richard. It wasn't a lie. Sure you want to do this by yourself? I love you. Fine. He wants a moon vest cast proposal. Uh, tell him it's ready. Marion Bellman's office. Marianne, One minute. It's Richard. hiding things, keeping secrets. I should have told you last night. It's a... It's a business thing. Gotta handle it myself. When do we really start letting each other in? Look, um... I gotta go. I'll see you later. Palmer called again. He's on the warpath. Let's go. You okay? You seem a little out of it. Oh, it's uh, something at home. Excuse me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened to my car. It, it just died, and it's brand new. It just died. Yeah, and the damn car phone doesn't even work. Sounds electrical. Whatever. Want to use my phone? Thank you. Oh, 
What a day. Must be going around. Yeah, I guess so. A couple of guys asked to help, but I was just scared. Well, I don't blame you. Yes, I'd like a number for the auto club, please. I can't believe your car did that. Where is my cat? Putter? Putter? You have a cat named Putter? I found her on a golf course. <laughs> on her way to the sand trap. I can't thank you enough for all of this. Richard. Sorry. Did you think about our conversation? I'm not going to kill him. I'm not going to kill anyone. Mommy? Who aren't you going to kill? She's late. We need her. I'm fine, thanks. Good morning to you, too. I'm sorry, Lynn. I'm just a little <laughs> distracted lately. I know. We all are. I'm sure she's just moments away. There's only six units plus, you know, where my husband and I live. So I try to keep an eye out. But Potter kept whining to come inside. Potter's her cat. And then the car was here. And then I kept knocking this morning. But there just was no answer. So, uh, so I just came in. She's in the bathroom. So she's uh, 25. Lives uh, alone. Works at the same agency as the the um, dead guy at the Pan Pacific Hotel. Yeah. yeah. Is this too too easy? Yeah. I don't know. Here they are. Why them? Girl didn't have any relatives in town. I needed somebody to make an ID. Do they know? Not yet. Fine. I'll tell him. You uh, call the crime scene task force. You know, you always get the easy stuff. Yeah, Central. This is Hallman. I need snappers and dusters over here right now. Okay, so Hallman and the girl have this inter-office affair kind of a thing. Yeah, something makes her jealous. She does him at the Pan Pacific. Yeah, and then she can't live with a guilty conscience or uh, without him, and uh, hey, either way it works, huh? Sounds good to me. So, uh, uh, Holtman's death is closed? Maybe. Probably. Um, you know, we even, <laughs> even thought of you as a suspect for a while. What do you think of that? Not a lot. I, I just can't believe this. I talked to her yesterday at work, and she was fine. Did she seem depressed to you? No. Uh, not that I could tell. It's scary. Like anyone could be on the verge, and you never know. Yeah, suicides are like that. Sometimes. Listen, I'm uh, so sorry to have to drag you into this. It's okay. Do you have pierced ears? Uh, no, I don't. I was just wondering, see, if women who have pierced ears also can wear those uh, uh, clip-on things. Sure, a lot of them do. But sometimes the ear gets irritated by the pierced earrings and you um, wear clip-ons for a while. Uh-huh. Well, so it's possible that, that, that Julie, who had pierced ears, could also have had clip-ons too, huh? Right. I think most women wear both. We found the other one in the hotel. It's an odd shape, isn't it? Kind of pretty, though. Either of you recognize this? No, I don't. Oh, good. That well, clears that up, then, huh? Then uh, you will call me if you think of anything else. I have to say that. Oh, and you, you still have my card, right? Oh, yes, I, I still have it. Thank you for your time. Take care.
I didn't have to say that. Sweet, we're having the best time. You do anything to She's her. fine. Look, I'm really sorry about all this. Julie and... She didn't do anything to you. No, but the police no longer suspect you. I think that proves my goodwill. And it puts you completely in the clear. Oh, my God. Marianne, look, I need you to relax. Nothing's going to happen to you or Zoe if... Uh, when this is all over, it will be the last you hear from me. Live my life and you live yours. What, what, what happens if I get there and I, I, can't, I can't do it? You'll do it. You really don't have a choice, Mary. It's either Jack or you'll do it. He opens the back door. The code will disable the alarm. And on the control pad, just punch the sequence. You've got 30 seconds before the alarm is triggered. What time? One. He just uh, got back from a very tough business trip, so he should be out by 11. So don't hesitate. You just walk in and shoot him twice. Twice? To be sure. There's a jewelry box on the dresser. Take what's inside, go through the drawers, mess them up, leave them open. Reset the alarm using the same code, and then leave by the back door. We're almost done. Once you're outside, smash one of the glass doors. Open it, trigger the alarm, and you'll be long gone by the time security arrives. Then what? Security will call me at a number I leave them. I'll be upset, of course. Then I'll tell them it'll take a while for me to get there. Then I'll call you at home. We meet, you pick up Zoe, and we say thank you and goodbye. You thought this out very well. I've had a lot of time to think about it. Now, wear gloves. The only prints on it are Jack's. Drop it on the floor when you're done. Do you know how to use it? Okay. You undo the safety. And you pull the trigger. Then it's over. My life is right. 
And your life is right. My life will never be right. Well, mine will. Oh, Richard! What are you doing here? I'm trying to help you. What are you doing here? Oh, Richard, you can't know. You can't... you can't know. All about what? I'll be there in about uh, an hour. Yes. Yes, yes, it's clear. Thank you. Hello,
car. <laughs> Oriented. This is the way out. Where are we going? This is a beautiful old place, isn't it? It's Jack's first big plant. This is where he made his first million. It's too bad. It'll be a long time before they find you. Maybe never. Do what I've seen, I can't just let you walk away. Sure you can, Jennifer. Uh, like you said, a deal's a deal. I like you, Mommy. Mommy! Hey, sweetheart, are you okay? Keep away from us, Jennifer. Oh, Marianne. Such bravado. So bold. But thinking bold and being bold are different things. Please, just keep away from us. Jennifer, we just want to go. Oh, and I can't let you. And you can't shoot me. I can. So do it.
Ahora, 